In this video, I'm going to look at how to solve trigonometric equations with the TI-89 calculator. Now, I do have some videos where I show how to solve them manually and also have some uh, using the TI-83. So that's on my other channel, my uh, Tony Pereira channel, channel. So I'll go ahead and put a link on there in case you're interested in looking at those uh, videos. I also have quite a few videos where I show how to solve problems from basic algebra using the TI-89. So again, you can check out the link uh, if you're interested. Let me point out first, uh, whenever you're solving a uh, trigonometric equation, just like other equations, algebraic equations and so forth, you can either have uh, no solution, you can have one or several solutions, uh, but with the, the what's different is with the with the trig equation, trigonometric equation. If you have one solution, you always going to have an infinite solution. Okay, and that's because of the uh, periodic nature of the trig functions. Okay, the function values repeat uh, every two pi radians or every 360 degrees, uh, except for the cotangent and the tangent that have a period of. Uh, of pi or in degrees 180. Okay, here we're going to focus on the TI-89. Okay, and I have I have this one set to degrees. Okay, uh, normally uh, they're, they're going to say solve the trig equation in the interval from zero degrees to 360. Okay, zero or larger but not more than 360, it has to be less than 360. So it's contained in that particular interval. Okay, so just like I did in some of the algebra problems that I did in the calculator, I go to the F2 menu and select the first one. It's already set highlighted, so I just hit enter. And then I type in the equation, okay? So it's gonna be second. sine of x close parentheses equals to radical 2 so I hit the second key and then over here where the x is that x is the radical so I enter 2 then divide by 2 okay so just like with algeb algebraic equations I have to define the variable so I hit uh, comma and then I'm using x here, okay, if you're using y, then you have to put in the y, but here I'm using x. And then uh, right to the left of the 7 over here in the keyboard, this bar right here, put it there. And then I, I want to tell the calculator that I want the solutions in this interval only. So I'm going to enter a 0, and then I want less than or equal, so I'm going to go to the math menu, so hit 2nd. And then number five gets me to the math menu. And then number eight gives me the symbols there. So number four is less than or equal, so I enter four. And then I enter the x. Okay. So I want x to be greater than or equal to zero. And x has to be less than 360. It has to be in between. So I end have to enter the word and. So again, I go to the math menu, second, five, and then number eight again. And then the word and is number eight, so eight again. There it is. Okay. So I don't want x, and I want the less than. Now that one I can get right here with zero is. So it's head second, and then head zero, and access the less than, and then it's 360. 60 and I don't have to put degrees there because the calculator has already said the mode calculator mode is in, is in degrees so then I hit uh, enter for the calculator to solve it and then I scroll up here to see the solutions so I get x is equal to 135 or x is equal to 45 and that's in degrees okay 
So that's my solution. So anytime, anytime you're solving a trigonometric equation, uh, what you want to do is first find the solutions in the interval from 0 to 360. Uh, then if it tells you to give all the solutions or give the general solution or what is called sometimes the complete solution, then you just can add, you can just add 360 to those. Okay, so the answer here then is x is equal to 45, x is equal to 135, and then the complete solution, or sometimes called the general solution, you simply add a multiple of 360. So 45 degrees will work. If you add 360, that will work. If you add another 360, that would work, and so on. 135 is one solution. 135 plus 360 will also work. 135 plus 360 times 2, and so forth. So this is a general solution, and this is where, where k is any integer. K can be any integer, so that could be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. Okay. Uh, now here, uh, once the solution in the solutions in the interval from 0 to 360, so the answer you would get would be 45 and 135. I'm just giving you this as extra, just in case it wants a complete solution. Okay. Uh, the next one uh, is a quadratic equation in the cosine. So I do, I do want to point out to you that in, in solving trig equations without the calculator, the more complicated ones, you're going to use the same techniques as you would use in some uh, quadratic equations or other equations, factoring. Uh, you could use a quadratic formula and, and so forth. So number two, for example, if you're going to do it without the calculator, you would factor that. So it's like just the same thing as you were solving, say, something like x squared plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Okay, you use the factoring technique or the quadratic formula. But again, we're focusing on the calculator in this video. So I'll come back over here and clear this one. Now I do want to point out that uh, before I go to, the, to this one is that sometimes uh, they're going to want the answer in radians. So this will be, this interval would be from 0 to 2 pi. 0 less than or equal to x and x has to be less than 2 pi. 2 pi, of course, is equivalent to 360 in degrees. So here, uh, this, this 45 and, and this 135, if they wanted the answer in radians, uh, exact values, you could just multiply the 45 degrees by pi over 180 degrees, and 135 by pi over 180 degrees. The degrees would cancel out, and your answers would come out to pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. Okay, pi over 4, just another way of giving 45 degrees. And 3 pi over 4 is just another name for 135 degrees. Okay, but here we're giving the answers in degrees. So again, the next one, uh, F2, and then again, 1, we're going to solve it. So enter, second, cosine, <coughs> and then x, close parentheses, and this will be squared, so take this to the second power, and then uh, plus 2, second, and then cosine again, x, close parentheses, minus 3, is equal to 0, and then again, define the variable so, comma, and then x, close parentheses, and then again the bar here, and then again the same thing. So we want uh, 0 to be less than or equal to x. So let's go to second, math 5, same thing we did in the other one, 8, and then uh, number 4, less than or equal, and then it's x. And then again, we want the word and there. So second, five, math, eight. And then eight is the word and. And then I want x to be less than. So again, second, and then zero here. X is the less than, 360. And we hit enter. and we get x is equal to 0. 
So that would be zero degrees, and of course in, in radians that would be just plain zero, with no degree. That x equals zero. Okay, that's the answer you get from the calculator. Okay, we'll clear this. And then the next one, uh, well here's a complete solution. So. Uh, x is equal to zero degrees. So like I said, if the equation has a solution, it's going to have an infinite solution because you simply add 360 to that, where k is an integer. So zero plus 360 degrees k is the same thing, right? So I could denote the general solution as 360 deg uh, degrees times k. When k is equal to zero, obviously you get this answer here, zero degrees. But there you have it. Okay. Okay, this, this one here is pretty much like the, the first one. The first one was sine x equal to radical 2 over 2. Well, the only difference here is this is sine of 2x. Okay. So if you were doing this uh, manually without the calculator, a uh, little bit trickier. But uh, with the calculator, no big deal because we go again. F2, 1 has entered, so we hit enter, and then second sign of 2x equal to radical 2, so second, and then on the x we access the radical 2, parentheses, divide by 2, oops, divide. Two, and then comma, and then the variable x, close parentheses, and then the bar, and then again, the same thing I did a while ago, so this will be zero less than or equal to x so this will be second five then eight number four and then x okay need the word and so again math menu second five eight then eight okay and then I want x x to be less than so second and then hit zero to access the less than 360 and then hit enter okay so I get I get the solution as x is equal to 495 over 2 405 over 2 x is equal to 135 over 2 x is equal to 45 over 2 okay and if you divide those out, you're going to get these numbers. 22.5, 67.5, 202.5, and those are, those are all in degrees. Uh, the calculator, uh, again, because if you divide it out, it comes into a decimal. It doesn't give you the um, decimal form, but we could fix that by, let's see if I clear this, and then... Uh, Let's, let me do an approximation here and hit this little diamond right here next to the alpha key to the left there, hit that one, and then hit enter. And now it gives it to me with the decimal, okay, instead of the uh, fractional form. So, yeah, 247.5 in degrees, 202.5 in degrees. Okay, the 67.5 and the 22.5 and that's your solution and, and again the complete solution comes out to this complete solution would be 22.5 degrees plus 180 degrees over k or times k and x would be 67.5 degrees plus 180 degrees times k where k is any integer 
and you might be wondering, well, what happened to the to the 360? Okay, well, like I said, a uh, uh, little bit tricky here because of the 2x, but the, the way you would set it up, if you were doing it manually, the way you would set it up would be like this. You would say, okay, uh, let's say you're solving for 2x. Okay, 2x then would equal to 45. So in other words, here, in this one, the sine of one angle is radical 2 over 2. So you'd have to solve it just like in the first one, if you were doing it manually. And you had to figure out that the sine of an angle that has an answer of radical 2 over 2 is either 45 degrees or 135. Okay, so that would mean then that 2x then could equal to 45 degrees plus 360 times k, or x could be 135 degrees plus 360 degrees times k. And then if you divide that by, divide through by 2, you get x is equal to 22.5, 180 degrees k, 67.5 degrees plus 180 degrees k. And then now if you want the one, so this is the general solution. Okay, so this is what you would do if you were doing this manually without the calculator. So then what you would do is, okay, I want this, now I want the solutions only in the interval from 0 to 360. So you would say, okay, 1 would be k equals 0. I don't want negative, negative k to be negative because then I get a negative answer. And the answer has to be positive based on what they're asking over here, okay, from 0 to 360. Okay, so if, uh, if k is equal to 0, then I get the 22.5, okay? If k is equal to 1, okay, then I get the 202.5, okay? And on this one, if k is equal to 0, then I get the 67.5 there. And if k is equal to 1, 180 plus 67.5 is 247.5. And if I increase the value of k to 2, for example, then I would go over 360. And that, that's not going to work. Okay. So anyway, that, that's the way you would do it if you were working it uh, without the cal calculator, doing it manually. I do have some videos, like I said, in my Tony Pineda channel. I might have some on this one. I'm not sure. Uh, but like I said, uh, I go ahead and put a link uh, to my other channel uh, in case you want to see more videos uh, with the TI-89 as they apply to solving uh, problems in, in college algebra, okay? <clears throat> My voice is kind of going, so I apologize for that. Uh, so anyway, that'll be the, the conclusion to this video. And uh, again, if these are uh, helping you out, uh, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any suggestions, again, I will uh, listen to your requests, especially if you're uh, subscribing to the channel. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.